Come on, you big SOB. The reason I got bad. There we go. All right, Real Outdoors TV. We are fishing. This is Nate, his first day out this year. It's January, he finally got some time off of work. And um, yeah, we're out here fishing for crappies. Um, I don't know what else to say. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully we catch some actually. We're sitting in about 20 feet of water. I wanted to be a little shallower. Kind of following this little hole. There's two holes out here by the dam and uh, we're kind of following the contour lines where it gets a little shallower to see if we could catch them uh, some of the schools as they're swimming through but yeah we'll see how we can do. We're out here early in the morning. The sun's already up but go out here as early as we could. All right we're also sitting in the Eskimo Evo 2 yes. IT. This is going to be a uh, yeah, guess... Marine General at a good price. <laughs> Always low deals. Marine General. Come on North into Minnesota. Marine General and get outdoors with us. Boom, bam. Have a nice crappie today. Woo! First fish of the year for this big guy. Shimmer down now. <laughs> well, I'm graphing one right here too. Having some difficulties getting the camera set up, but that's okay. We got uh, one already in the bag here. See that? Nice ten and a half, ten and three quarter inch here. So we're gonna see if we can keep catching them today. Get some keepers. Uh, limits ten crappies per person. So we'll see how we do. Ooh, that's a nice one. Nice number two for the Smithmeister. <laughs> oh yeah. Right. Gonna measure. Oh damn! That'll be a good one. That's actually really nice water. Nope, only 11. 11 and a half. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Taking that one. Heck yeah. Oh, nope, there's one right below me. There's a big one down there though. I want the big one. Go get the big one. A nice one. Oh, nice. Wow. Nothing like catching 11 inch crappies one after another. 45 minutes. That's America right there. Yeah, it's 9 o'clock. I'm content. So, the thing out here, folks, is uh, gets a lot of pressure. A lot of people come out here and fish on the weekends. It's one of the main places around the area to catch panfish and I mean there's there's quite a bit of walleye out here too but this area out by the dam gets a ton of pressure we came out on a Friday morning because both of us were off work where most people are going but going to work to still you know so I think that's kind of playing into our favor for the fact that the fish are actually biting there's not as many people out here not as many lines in the water so I don't know if you guys care or not about my uh, information I give you on the lures I use but Today I'm using this Northland Tackle Forge Spoon. It's just a little guy. It's got a treble hook on it though, which I like for crappies because more hooks the better. Pink with the little tiger stripes on it. It seemed to work pretty good. Try a bunch of different colors, see what works for the fish you're fishing for. Wheel it up what? here and we can show you. Okay, so it doesn't have green on it, but it's an orange and yellowish colored thing and he's, he's been catching them too on this so they seem to work pretty good oh you got her that's a big that's probably the biggest one so far really yeah nice 11 and a half incher beauty He's gonna taste good later. Oh yeah. I'm a vegetarian though. Get the fuck up. <laughs> oh, so you got people piling in really close to us now, so. Might slow down the fishing a little bit, but that's okay. We're just out here to have a good time on our days off. You know what they say about fishing? It's fun even when you're not catching fish. Because exactly. it's better than the best day of work. Very Being a true. garbage man. Being a garbage man. 
Or social worker, whatever. Either way. Garbage man, social worker. Either way, I got a fish down there right now and I'm gonna catch him, so we'll see how that goes in the boat. Okay. Nate reels in another nice one. Good shade. Keeper. Good shade. Keeper number five. That is a solid 11 right there. <laughs> Just drinking while I get it. Put him in the bag. There's another one. All these people on YouTube think we're catching a bunch of fish, but we only caught one. Just again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, and we just keep showing it. Oh shit! Camera's on. They're all about the same size, anywhere between 10 and 11 and a half. 10 and 100? 10 and 100. 100 feet. The time. Another really nice crappie out of here. I think that's the best one so far. That's because I'm better than Nate at everything. He's, he's not wrong. <laughs> Let's see how big he is. I got one. Talk to blocker. Come on. <laughs> Missed it. Hold on. They're there. They're there. They're there. Nice crappie. The other one's going to take it. Oh, Zach, there's a four of them. Is there? Well, this guy's, he's, he's 10 inches, but we're going to let him go because there's a bunch more fish down here and I want a bigger one. Here we go. There we go. Nate's got one. The schools are coming oh, in. Buddy. Ooh, there's a nice one. <laughs> Attaboy, Smith. Smith Master J, they call me. It's true. Not I'm going to go right here. Watch shot. this. Here we go. Joint shot. One after another, baby. Keep them coming. Show that to the camera. That's a nice one. Ooh, you got a sunny. Oh, that's, that's a nice one too. Ooh, that's a big sunny actually. Yeah, a big fatty. Um. There's a nice bluegill right there. Not bad. Probably yeah. just like rise up, just climb in the water column. There we go. Ooh, that one just ripped up. Nice double! Oh! Ooh, that's a nice one too, Nate. And that's what we call in the business a double. A double treble. Perfect keeper. Double for me and Nate. Ah, what a good deal. Let's see how this like is. that. Just over 11. I think yours was a little over too. It was like 11 and a half. Oop, Ooh, okay. Ouch, yeah. Yeah, we got nine keepers so far. Look what we found. Look what we found. Uh, on the water. side of the road. Yeah. That's how you do that. He's not doing it. Well, maybe he is. Get in there. Make daddy proud. Mm -hmm. That's what my dad used to tell me all the time. Ah. Another beautiful black crappie. What a good day of fishing. Let's see if he's a keeper. 10? A little over 10? That's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Might be a keeper. We'll see. Just like that, that's how it works. So you catch big fucking grappies. Oh uh, yeah, that's a nice one. There we go. Very nice dog. Keeper number 10, we got one man's limit. Um, it slowed down a little bit, but they, they still keep coming in schools. They're just getting a little, a little more finicky with when they want to bite. But that's when they, uh, some of our uh, fishing skills come into play. We like to pretend we know what we're doing when it comes to fishing. When in doubt, set the hook. Set the hook! Nice. <laughs> oh, fuck! That you was a it? big one. You just right at, it at the, the hole. top? Right at the hole. Is he big? <laughs> Damn it, Nate. <laughs> Get back down there. He's turning more red when he comes up, though. 
catch him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will for you. Just because you said that. I didn't want to catch him before. No, I didn't think so. Figured I'd let you know that I wanted you to. It's a dick up. Oh, my bobber's gone. Thank God for there. And I got line too. So my, it's my own line. Oh, your own line. Yep. You can tell because it's white. Oh, that's the first one caught on the bobber. Well, that's a wrap for today. Um, we ended up keeping 12 crappies. Each of them was over 10 and a half inches. That was kind of the slot we ended up telling ourselves we were going to keep. So usually we do 10 and over we keep, but we were catching such nice ones that that's what we ended up doing. So caught that and um, probably could have kept quite a few more, but decided otherwise. Caught that one bluegill and it was actually a really fun day. Really good morning. Got out here about 8 a.m. It was really steady from 8 till about 11, right, Nate? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And from 11 till now, we only caught one fish, and it's noon. So we're going to pack up and say say it was a good day and call it good for today. Not bad for 20 below. Yeah, not for 20 below to uh, zero. But.